Oh, you know what? Let's do this. This is sort of disturbing. I, you know, during the Bush administration, we saw the advent of free speech zones. Now, they may have, they may have existed before, but I guess I, maybe I became much more aware of them. They were implemented at the conventions. They were implemented, as far as I know, at the inauguration parade in 2000, when there were literally tens of thousands of people protesting George Bush's inauguration, but they were hidden behind uh, bleachers. And this is really, um, this is really disturbing to me in some way. Stan Bush, a reporter for KCNC-TV in Denver, posted videos on Twitter showing a machine that was sticking out over a fence from a Clinton, I guess, um, fundraiser in Denver. And what it was there was to prevent any uh, ability for reporters who were outside of the um, event from hearing if there were protests inside. So now we're going to play, and you can hear the difference. We're going to play the before and after, uh, or I should say the during and after, the during the speeches and then the after. So here is the, uh, the, the during, and you'll hear this just sort of like shh, which is it's basically like a noise machine. This is basically what we do in our house so that we can deal, uh, we can actually like do stuff while the kids are sleeping. We just put these noise machines in their rooms, and uh, this is what, but, you know, I should say the difference is, is that, you know, this is not about our democracy in our house. It's just about us getting some sleep and them and our being able to live. But go. All right, that's the sound from reporters across the street from, it's just a shh. Now, here's when they've turned off the machine and are now in the sort of like celebratory non-speech part of the, the event. You can hear the difference. That's non-amplified voices. That's how loud it would have been. An amplified voice, of course, you would have heard the speech. You could hear it sort of slightly in the background. And if there were protests, you would have certainly heard those. You heard people in there just talking, you know, uh, over the music. Really creepy, creepy stuff. Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. No. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.